Hello guys, welcome back to our podcast. This is Tada Kenya and uh, today we are discussing about this granny who is uh, 27 years old in uh, Migori. But before we start our conversation, I'll let my colleague here introduce herself. Hello, my name is Vivian. I'm happy to be to be on set today and uh, I'm looking forward to this conversation. It's going to be an interesting one. Stay tuned. Uh, so uh, according to the population uh, is it population agency or population mm-hmm. whatever uh, they did a research about uh, teen pregnancies and uh, they had this story about this woman who gave birth at uh, 13 and 14 years later uh, the same girl who gave birth to uh, to a baby is it a baby girl yeah at 13 was a grandmother the daughter gave birth at 14 Okay. So this uh, says a lot about uh, our community and the rate at which we have uh, teen pregnancies and all that. Mm. So yeah. What's your take on that because it's really shocking I would say. It's really I wouldn't call it an interesting story but mm-hmm. it's it's very sad. Mm-hmm. It's very sad that uh, we keep on uh, populating the society with uh, vulnerable girls because yeah. if you give birth at, at 13 it means you're vulnerable yourself mm-hmm. and uh, the daughter you have uh, given birth to is mm-hmm. also a vulnerable girl yeah. mm-hmm. so i think this is why this girl was uh, she was dis- disadvantaged and that is why she also gave birth just like the mother and mm-hmm. this one is just um is just failing uh, the, the whole aspect of poverty yeah. because this girl is is already subjected to eternal poverty if i may say mm-hmm. uh, poverty and it's just a crazy cycle that at some point will have to be broken uh, as for me i would say uh, we have a lot of gaps in our community uh, considering the fact that we are we are on uh, 21st century a lot of these things are things that uh, should be zikwe kitu za kitambo but it's something that uh, it's really happening even in the 21st century and i would say uh, It, it is because we have gaps parents and different stakeholders in the community are not coming out clearly and uh, explaining to this girl that mm. this and this is supposed to be da- to be done but on the on the other hand i will not blame these uh, teen girls who, who are pregnant or something some of these people i think they don't have support mm. maybe niko class 8 and uh, i want to continue with my education maybe high school nini and my parents are not able mm. and uh, we are in a society yenye nikikosa school fees ni hivyo tu nitafute another option yeah. so i think pia poverty ime ime cause to the increase of teen pregnancies yeah, yeah. just uh, your your conversation about uh, gaps mm-hmm. of course there's there's the aspect of sensitization and making yeah. people aware mm-hmm. but also you know it's it, sensitization and uh, support go hand in hand yeah. because i don't want to come and sensitize you about how important it is to to empower a, a girl, girl child, child and how important it is for a girl child to go in school then i don't offer a solution and uh, the, a lot of these solutions have been left for yeah. uh, for charity based organizations mm-hmm. uh, to take care of the government is actually doing nothing and in, in the in the conversation i had one of the girls was really bitter with the government yeah. the government is doing nothing because i expect the government to to really come to the aid of these teen mothers mm-hmm. as soon as you give birth then you need to go back to school as well as uh, and also your child the child you've given birth to also needs to go to school or or have an access to some some yeah. form of education whether informal or formal you uh, they have to have access to some form of education mm-hmm. so i feel like the government has really really failed us in this yeah. but also parents ourselves because this girl is already a parent and at 13 mm-hmm. i i expected her to really fight for her yeah. daughter not to find herself in this position but she is saying mm-hmm. the only support she is giving this girl is mm-hmm. taking uh, the responsibility of a mother to to the to the child this girl gave birth to But and then this Vivian, girl has been sent uh, off to if be i interrupt you i mm. think it's not her fault mm-hmm. that, that 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 is the only thing she could afford mm-hmm. na hakuna mtu mwenye hiyo time angekuja muongeleshe let's say organizations uh, the government yenye iwaongeleshe imwambie this is the direction you need to follow mm-hmm. see ati pia mimi na blame or something ni mtu ali ali give birth at, at, at 13 sorry na 
yani hakukuwa na ile mtu anaweza mpatia direction or something aseme mtoto wangu sitaki aende uh, this direction or something mm-hmm. you ukifa, ukifuatilia your story who ni mtu ali give birth at, at 13 ni kama nobody cared kwa hiyo community or something like mm-hmm. aliendelea tu na maisha yake na hakuna mtu alijali at 13 ume give birth what's the way forward so ni kama tu the whole community ilikuwa tu inamwangalia ama walimfikiria she is a failure or something na mm-hmm. wakamwacha tu hivyo let me be the devil's advocate on this matter <laughs> <laughs> this girl mm-hmm. uh, this this woman the mm-hmm. the, the 27 year old grandma yeah at the at this moment she mm-hmm. is also let's say quote unquote the mother of uh, her grand her grandchild yeah so i don't know if the grandchild is a girl or a, or a boy yeah. but assuming yeah assuming the the grandchild is a girl then there are chances that this girl is going to yeah. slip off her fingers as well and become a teen mother you know Sad. and I don't know. In as much as we blame the government so much, mm-hmm. I think the government uh, has really tried in terms of free education. Yeah. Primary school is is is, is but free. is it is it free really? It is kind of free. And then the Not government has brought free. the government has subsidies such mm-hmm. as the CDF uh, funds, yeah, mm-hmm. which I'm sure if you are very vulnerable, vulnerable, mm-hmm. you can qualify for such. So. I, I don't know. There's a lot that ought to have, have been done. But again, the society we live in where yeah. people just assume it mm-hmm. is her problem and mm-hmm. we have no business with it. We don't want to be part of it. So let her sort herself out. In fact, the society in yanzie ukochin Before government come in, mm. the society pia inafa yanzie somewhere. Kwa sababu uyu ni msichana mdogo and the, the society may relax to Mna blame the government, the government, the government. Mm. And the society pia ukumbuke hapo kuna mzee wa nyumba kumi their mothers na in the same same society mm. nikosho kuna watu wamesoma wenye wana understand the importance of mm. empowering girl child mm. but still nothing was done so it's really sad yeah you're right at at some point you're right because um, last week as we as uh, we were we were attending the the court users committee workshop yeah. at mm-hmm. Siala, uh, there's an issue that was raised the journey of a survivor it begins from the grassroots. It yeah. begins from from as low as the mother to the 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 nyumbakumi yeah. elders yeah. to the chief as it progresses all the way to to the courts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I feel like we we have failed these girls, and we sh- we we can't be rejoicing. I love how media know how to find those stories. Yeah. And the 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 that is the point where they now want to look as if they are doing yeah. something. Mm-hmm. Yet something is not being done. Our mm-hmm. girls are still, and I hear people complaining. Oh, the girls are being empowered, and the boy child is being left behind. The girl child is not anywhere near empowerment. They're we just empowering still. them with words, mm. but. It's ni kama kuambia mtu nda ni vizuri kusoma ni vizuri kwenda shule but this person hana fees mm. but wewe umemwambia tu ni vizuri ni kusoma so hiyo mm. bado hujamsaidia but umemwambia ni vizuri kusoma sawa ni vizuri kusoma sina fee ya kwenda shule mm. hujanisaidia vile nitapata hiyo fee umenisaidia kweli it is a serious serious issue yeah. like uh, just recently i i interacted with a girl mm-hmm. who says it's her parents who tell her to go look for money to oh, buy no. pads and, and sanitary towels so you're, you're wondering what si- what sort of a society are we are we uh, cultivating because this is a girl who knows nothing about contraceptives knows nothing about even the proper way to have sex but she's already putting herself out there mm-hmm. just to to get and this girl also is expected to be in school and concentrate and do well in school so as a society we have completely failed as parents we have failed and i don't want us to glorify this woman oh mm-hmm. she's strong she's a, str- a strong grandmother she is not she's very she didn't vulnerable. have an option yeah she's very vulnerable and still very weak and still incapacitated she's not empowered yeah. she's just uh, i don't know she's just at the masses of of all these abuses because this makes this girl very vulnerable to abuses because first yeah. You you gave birth at thirteen. Mm-hmm. Your husband already looks at you like, mm. and then awesome. yeah, feel. And then you mm-hmm. go ahead and give birth to a baby, a baby who has also made made them grandparents. Yeah. So this man, I'm sure he's not happy wherever he is. Mm-hmm. You are a parent now, a parent quote unquote to your your daughter's child, mm-hmm. who if it's a lady, there are high chances she'll slip down. The, so you're going to be a great grand. Is it a great grandmother? At yes, 30. a great grandmother at probably 
only 30 not. or 35 mm -hmm. then there's just a whole cycle of poverty yeah. and unempowered women and you find a whole society of just poor people not that p we we hate poor even the bible does not instruct us to hate the poor mm -hmm. but we are working at a at a, at a society mm -hmm. where everyone can afford basic things basic yeah. uh, food uh, shelter education has mm -hmm. become a basic need at this point so we need to do better as a society we really do so uh, as we conclude I, I will really say that uh, this this thing requires uh, different stakeholders mm. which includes the community uh, parents uh, all the way up to the government mm. we all have roles to play to ensure that we reduce teen pregnancies because at the rate at which uh, the number is growing it means that uh, we'll have a, a, a society where the the vicious circle of poverty continues over from generation to generation to another generation. Mm. So uh, as all stakeholders come together, we all have a role to play. So let's come together and uh, see what are these gaps that we should fill in our community so that we can reduce this rate and uh, our girls can be really empowered, not empowered, mm. emp really empowered. And I wish the government would know how this issue of teen pregnancies yeah. is crippling the economy. I wish they would just go and do their math. It's mm -hmm. really crippling the economy because poor people means they are not paying tax and yeah. it means they are a burden to the government. The so, burden grows yeah. every day. The burden and of... And it's on yeah. the government. True, true. So the government, you need to... Government, <laughs> you need to do something. <laughs> government. Except. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye.